A Webster County town unveiled a new historic site today right outside of Clay, Kentucky. More than 60 men died in a mining explosion. It happened in 1917. Now, with help from the Webster County Historical Society, a permanent reminder has gone up. Eyewitness News' Miranda Meister joins us now with the story. Miranda? As Clay is in the middle of its yearly festival, downtown is bound to be filled with people. And as they go out to join the fun, they'll see a new memorial meant to remember those who lost their lives in that accident more than 100 years ago. 62 of those folks was not able to go home with their families that night. August 14th, 1917, a day many in the city of Clay have heard about all their lives. I don't remember specifics about how I learned about it, but we just knew about it. But it wasn't taught in history class. Something that I guess was talked about around the dinner table, Sunday dinners, and you just kind of knew about it. Until now, there was no permanent place for people to remember the tragedy. This was one of those situations that had just never been recognized before. And so today, we were able to have a historic marker that's going to be dedicated and serve as a moral and remembrance to the miners that got killed that day. For families like Renee Williams, the stories have been told. There were people when I was growing up that had relatives that, that died, you know, in the, in the mining explosion. Williams' great uncle played a part in the rescue. So for her, this unveiling hits close to home. It's a great monument to those early coal miners that uh, really suffered or really worked hard and suffered. And Community leaders tell me that by having this monument up, they hope that the people in the area never forget what happened in Webster County. Miranda Meister, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Miranda. Well, the city of Owensboro announces its next fire chief today. Battalion Chief James Howard has been.